Hello, welcome to Nature's Art Club. I'm Hannah Stevenson, um, the face behind the hands here at Lillian Thistle, and I am so excited to have you here in Nature's Art Club. We have so much waiting for you to discover and to learn. Um, and so I'm gonna turn my camera around right now and just kind of give you a tour so that you um, know exactly what is here waiting for you and how to access it. So I'll see you on the other side and thanks again for being here. Welcome to the inside of Nature's Art Club. I just wanna give you a quick introduction um, to show you all the things that are available in the club. I'm just waiting for you to take advantage of um, some great resources that we have here. So just to show you kind of how to get started, you have a couple of options. You can start at the beginning and go all the way through um, all of the things that we have here. And this little uh, bar here on the side will kind of tell you how much you've completed if you want to go that way. Or you can just pick and choose, kind of go along and decide what you want to do. I'm just going to go through each section. I'll explain it to you and then um, we can go from there. So the first section is just our welcome section. That's kind of what I'm doing now, giving you a tour and a message from me. Our second section is our watercolor painting tutorials. And we also have all of our um, learning resources that go along with those tutorials right inside of, of this section. So we start with watercolor technique basics, and that's just a about an 18 minute uh, video that just goes over the basic watercolor techniques that um, you'll find useful as you're, as you're going through uh, the watercolor projects. So that's right here. Then the next thing we have, as you can see, you can just go right over here and see what's next. So the next thing we have is our supply list with our organization tips. So you've got a couple of options with your supply list. You can uh, print it out here. We've got it ready to print. You can just click here to download that and print it from your computer. Or you can um, just click here on one of these links. Um, and so here you can just see uh, the picture of what you're looking for. And then if you click on through, it will take you right to Amazon and uh, show you where to get it. So, so we've got um, older kids and adult options here and then kid friendly options, younger children, um, more like washable, easier things here. So two different options as far as supplies. And we use the same supplies with almost every single thing that we do in nature's art. So once you buy them, that's all you'll need and you'll just use them every time. Okay. Um, so I'm going to move on to this section down here in our, in our uh, club. I'm going to come back to the main page so that you can see. So down here, you can see all of our watercolor tutorials and we have divided them into seasons. So we've got autumn, winter, spring, and summer, and each, each season is going to have six uh, tutorials in it. And I will just click on one here. Let's do the frog here in our spring. So when you click on a watercolor tutorial, you're going to see a picture of what you're going to paint as well as um, some instructions, an invitation to join our Facebook group. And then here is the video that you will get to watch. I'm going to go ahead and push play to just show you a couple of options that you have with the videos. So you can turn your volume is here, so you can turn it up or turn it down. I'll turn it down all the way for this part. And then you've got this gear icon. This is the icon that will actually, if you want to slow down the, the uh, video, maybe I'm going a little too fast for you, or you want to really see what I'm doing, you can slow it down to half the speed, or maybe you want to go a little bit faster, you can speed, speed it up as well. So that's just right there in the gear icon. And then this is just to make it do full screen if you'd like to have a full screen version of it. Okay, I'm going to take that back to the regular, and then I'm going to pause it. So that is the video section. Next, we've just basically done screenshots of the video. So for, for anybody who would rather just do a step-by-step, -step, um, that is available here. And it's also available um, right here. We have made a, just a step-by-step -step guide that you can print out right here. It's two pages. And then you've got your watercolor outline and then your reference picture. So all of those can just be printed right there. Okay, so let's move back up to the beginning here. So like I said, we've got six projects for each season. Um, and then we've also added coloring pages for all 24 of those projects. So those that would rather color, um, these are just available to be printed out. One thing I've done with my littles is to just print these out on cardstock paper and then they can watercolor these so they don't have to trace them. They can just go ahead and watercolor what, you know, with their older siblings, um, what has already been here or made for them here. So enjoy those. You can just click here to download those and print those out as many times as you want. Okay, and then over here is our last 
second to the last uh, resource that goes along with our watercolor projects. These are our additional resources, learning resources. So this is if you want to, um, this is kind of the curriculum part of um, nature's art. So we have a whole bunch of really cool facts about each one of the things that uh, we get to paint. And then we have some video links that you can go to. We've spent hours and hours finding really great videos that you can watch um, together. We usually will put a shorter movie at the top and then a, a longer video there at the bottom. Um, it will put the time that each video is so that you kind of know how long you'll be watching it. And then these links just goes directly to the YouTube uh, video and are just waiting for you. Okay, and then we have an observation page where uh, we ask questions and um, it's a great way to kind of get kids curious and get even the adults curious about things that we are painting and learning about. So that's a great section. Again, you can just print that right off right here, or you can just scroll down and just use it from your phone or your computer or whatever works for you. All right, and then next we've got our poetry section by our very own Bee Bugs Anderson. He's also my dad and he's a great poet. <laughs> he wrote 14 poems for us here in Nature's Art Club um, that are just so much fun and they you learn a lot. Um, and our kids have memorized a lot of them, so they're really great poems. Um, we try to make them look very beautiful so that you would want to hang them on your wall or um, the kids could decorate them and color them. So those are all right here waiting for you and you just can download those right there. Okay, so I think that is it for the watercolor section. Let's move on to the drawing section. So here in the drawing section, we've got our introduction. We go over supplies and different kinds of lines. We'll make a values chart together so we'll learn how to do um, shading and the importance of values. And then we'll get right into our tutorials. This is just our acorn drawing tutorial. It will have all the same, um, the same options here. So you can go slower or faster, um, whatever you need as you are going along. And then we'll also have a reference photo here that you can print out and um, use as you are drawing. So we've got all of those waiting for you. Our next section is our nature activities and crafts section. I'm really excited about this one too. Um, this is the ebook that I just finished for you in Nature's Art. It's called Invitations to Nature, and um, it's just a great resource. Um, you can print it out, or you can just keep it um, and just you know scroll through it on your phone if you need a quick idea of something to do outside with the kids. Um, this is a great resource for that. So this is just an example of one of the ideas. So it just tells you what you'll need and then what to do. So on this instance you just need to go find some rocks and twigs and leaves and then if you want to put them on white cardstock you can or you can just do it on the pavement and you just go and you make um, little insects out of nature so a quick and easy idea but um, i did my best to find great ideas that um, are easy to do very doable with all different age groups and um, will really get your kids excited about getting into nature Next, we've got our phenology wheel. Um, this is just a great thing to do throughout the year and uh, keeps kids engaged in that way as well. Um, here is the tutorial, and then we've got the template right there for you to download and print. And then we've got our loose parts and an unstructured play for kids section, which is full of great things. And then we're gonna move on to our nature journaling. Um, here, you're gonna have access to both our nature journaling guide ebook, um, that you can either print out or just scroll through right here. Um, it's got some really great um, ideas about how to start nature journaling and uh, makes it very doable. So there's that. And then we've also got our printable nature journal. And I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of that. Let me just get to the top here. Okay. So um, you can, if you don't wanna print this out, you can purchase a physical copy of it right here at this link. Um, and this is basically what is included um, so you've got a whole bunch of different cover options. And then here is the actual journal. I did a whole bunch of references, reference pictures in the front that are absolutely beautiful. And then, so that's, we've got animal tracks, which my kids love this section. They love finding animal tracks and looking in their journal to see what kind of animal it was that they found. And then we just have um, pages for writing down observations and questions and then sketches. And so there's, I think, 50 pages of those. And then at the very back, we've got 
almost there. We've got the collections section. So that's where you can tape um, different things that you find. They can tape those. We use packing tape and tape those into their journal and it's really fun to do. So all of that is ready to be printed, downloaded and printed right here. And then I've got uh, five videos for you uh, that I have um, explained nature journaling in that I think you'll find very helpful. So those are all right here. And then the last section here, or the last um, class in this section is nature journaling just for mom. Um, something I'm very passionate about. It has been such a huge blessing for me um, in my life. And so I definitely want to share that it is not just for kids. It's for, it's for moms too. So enjoy that. And then we have our bonus section. We're always adding to this. Uh, right now we've got the Managing the Mest ebook that um, I wrote last year just um, with great tips and tricks that I have learned through the years as I've taught art to lots of children and also homeschooled my own kids. Just great ideas of how to manage the mess. So I think you'll enjoy that. We've also got our bird calendar uh, project, which is really fun. We do a different bird every month. And uh, it's a great thing to download. You can just click right there and do that. And then at, for Christmas time, we've got an advent calendar that is ready for you to either color or paint and download and use. And then service ideas for kids. And then our paper doll camp. That's something that um, we have that's really fun for anybody who might be interested. And then our last thing is our Watercolor Academy special discount. So I hope that you enjoy everything that's here for you um, we'd love to see what you're working on and what you've done with your kids please share in this facebook group and let us know if you have any questions all right we will see you soon bye